Hello, meteorologist Sean Cable here with a quick bare bones, quick and dirty update on the two winter storm systems that are going to impact our area later this week into next week. First system going to move in Thursday evening and bring some snow through about mid-morning on Friday. Overall snow amounts with this one around two inches in the Mankato area, give or take a little due to melting on contact and uh, the uh, overall track of the storm. But right now it looks like around two in Mankato, lesser amounts to the south. Higher amounts to the north and east of the Minnesota River with uh, three to four, perhaps, once you start to get up a little closer to Hutchinson, Wilmer, and especially I-94. Here is the hour-by-hour forecast. We're going to start off with clouds and maybe a few flurries off and on during the day Thursday. And then the main event's going to kick in a little bit uh, later Thursday evening around 9, 10 o'clock with snow. Here we are at midnight, Thursday night into Friday. Snow will continue overnight, Thursday night into Friday morning and eventually tapering off by probably mid-morning on Friday. And again, we're looking at around two inches or so in Mankato. The one thing we are going to be watching is uh, areas along and south of I-90. Right now, I think most of that moisture is going to come in the form of rain. However, if temperatures do drop a little more than expected, we may get a quick burst of heavier snow uh, early Friday morning down along and south of I-90. That's something we'll be watching. And in the next 12 to 24 hours, I'll have a better idea as to what you can expect there. Second system, this one's going to be the big one. And there is potential for this to be a major winter storm with all precip types. Heavy snow, rain, wind could create problems from late Saturday night through Sunday, Monday, and for a good chunk of the day Tuesday. I do think that there is a likelihood that we will have at least a six inch or more band of snow somewhere across Minnesota, Iowa. It's still almost a week away. So it's really early and too early to get specific but there is potential for heavy snow with this storm system, and that is something we are going to be watching. The good news is there will be much-needed moisture with uh, this system. I want to take you through it hour by hour. This is going to have a little of everything with snow off and on basically through the day Sunday, and there could be some heavy snow at times on Sunday. It'll get a little warmer as we head into Monday. Notice that rain changing to snow. Here we are Monday at 6 p.m. into Tuesday. And then on the backside, as the system's leaving, more cold air, We'll change the rain back to snow, and once again, there could be a little more snow accumulation there. So uh, something we're going to be keeping a very close eye on. Again, real early to get specific, but this will, this could be a big one, and it could really mess up travel from Saturday evening through Sunday, Monday, and most of the day Tuesday. So stay weather aware. Be prepared to change your plans later this weekend into early next week, because uh, as we watch this one evolve, it could uh, become a, a fairly significant thing. The good news is much needed moisture. Take a look at the Weather Prediction Center's precip forecast. That is something we need because of all the dry conditions that we have been dealing with lately. Again, Thursday night, Friday morning, a much more significant system from Saturday night through Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. Stay with us for updates. Download the KEYC First Alert Weather app. We will have the latest as this whole thing comes together.